Welcome back everyone. So a lot of you have been asking me how to go about making some puzzles and instead of just quickly showing you how to make some puzzles I thought you know what I'm gonna actually take the time and explain how to um, go about while well, touching some blueprints. So at the beginning we're going to be just touching the level blueprint which um, basically is just blueprints that um, are only associated to that level all right which can be handy if you just need a couple quick little like little puzzles so for the first example that we're gonna make in the first episode is a book that it doesn't need to be in it it just needs to touch it so I'm sure you guys could probably think of some pretty cool puzzles that you can make with things that touch other things. All right. Next is our. I haven't put it in, but basically a book that when you grab it, well, it'll open the door. So basically, um, I kind of didn't do it because I was just doing this quickly. But just so you guys can see, let's put that in there and. Uh, change the static mesh to just say like number two just so that we can whoa wrong one <laughs> that's kind of cool uh, I don't know why it was all what is wrong and uh, number two sorry about that so uh, so yeah just so you guys can get that nice little feel Ah, oh my god, yeah, so I'm sure you guys can probably think of other things as well that once you pick up this one object, well, it'll, you know, manip t open a door, or platform, or whatever, and same thing if you have, you know, an object that touches another object, because this isn't, like, only uh, for the bookcase, and uh, that noise that you keep hearing... We can fix that quick quick. Uh, we'll just add a, a little delay so it doesn't keep doing that. Alright? Because yeah, now it's continuously doing it. But that's fine. Alright? So, without further ado, let's go about making the first puzzle. So, I'm going to go out and just delete everything. Right to... Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. And goodbye. Yes, yes. Yes. Alright, you're good. So, with that all done, what we're going to need to do is... Um, maybe I should talk... Okay, so, uh, the first thing that you guys should, should basically understand is there's two kinds of blueprints, in a sense. Um... So the uh, quick and easy quick one is the uh, level blueprint up here. So under blueprints, open level blueprint. We'll be touching that a lot. All right. Uh, but the other ones that we usually see when we're placing things, and that's actually uh, something I should have maybe left, but whatever. Uh, let's just go into our content browser and write book and just hit the uh, objects folder all right and you know what just to even narrow it more down uh, objects all right so what we're gonna need is a bookcase but of course and a book all right and then we're gonna need something just to manipulate uh, something else which in this case it's a platform door. So let's go and get our platform door. There she is. Whoopsie. Okay. Let's just stick her in the back there. And if you saw in my other videos, we just go about changing the uh, close. Is it open? Probably open, right? Open. Yeah. Open. So I'll put that to zero, and I'm just going to move that to uh, negative 200. Okay. So, 
with that done all right let's begin so what we want to do is basically affect this door right so what we want is to get the moving state the state of this door usually anything like that will be mode move so these are keywords to search for so what we do is with the platform selected okay you can start looking through all these kind of things and all well, mode okay there's 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 a flat component right there right but if you want to be more specific okay we'll go right to the platform door and we'll find oh look at that moving state oh, okay so mode mode would have been good for like the the stuff that it's in and whatnot but for what we need we're actually going to need uh where it's going right so up oh, in moving state i don't have anything there i have nothing there but oh in platform I actually there you go that's what we want to affect is the moving state of the platform so we keep that in mind for when we're actually going to be touching the blueprints and what we're going to do is go and open by clicking blueprints open blue level blueprints mine opened off screen good job and we're just going to get rid of that and go and make so just so everybody's fair okay so with the platform door selected uh actually no so that's what we want to affect at the end we got we got all that but what we want is to get this bookcase and have this book hit it okay you can make trigger boxes and whatnot but just for simplicity's sake uh we're going to just do the when object hits another object so what we want is to find out when this guy hits this guy so basically we start off this is our starting point so we want to know when this guy gets affected by this guy so let's go back to our level blueprint right click add reference uh, add event to uh, for BP bookcase collision and right here add on actor hit all right so with that done what we want now is to get this book and find out when it hits this bookcase so over here we're going to have go in in level have your book selected go back to the level blueprint and we're going to create uh, right click and create reference to bp book okay and what we're going to want is to get um just just for simplicity's sake i'm just going to go and get the uh flat uh, get owner i believe get owner. yeah that's the one get owner flat component all right and then with that we're going to cast to bp book make sure it's book not bookcase because i did that error before and we're going to connect this so now we have our first kind of bit of code right and if we want to see it in action go print screen and we'll go was hit all right so this is another thing this is for debugging purposes so what you want is to continuously be checking to see if things have worked, right? So by doing that, right now I'm just adding, so let's just show it in progress. Maybe like bring this out. So right here we have on actor hit and we have the book. We're holding the book in our hand, right? And what we want is to find out when this book hits this bookcase. Oh, look at that. It just moved and we have a was hit everywhere so that's perfect that's what we wanted so we now have the our our, our code right now being told up ah, I just got hit now do something ah, okay well what we told it to do just for testing was just print something on the screen saying ah, I'm hit so these are good little tricks to actually start being able to test things out and whatnot all right so once we got that done now we have something that's hitting it all right now we want to affect this door this platform door 
So with that platform door selected, we're going to go back to our level blueprint, right click, create reference to pla uh, platform door, pull off. What we're going to want to get, if you guys remember from before, was we want to get the owner of that platform, right? Because the platform is what had the information for moving, which is what we want to affect. We want to move this state. Right now it's on close. What we want is to get it to open because you have open already, which will make it open. So she won't actually be moving. And if we put it to opening, well, she'll go from whatever the closed state is to now the open state. So she will get that moving. So this is basically, this is a variable that we want to affect is the moving component uh, opening state. So once we're back in here, what we're going to want to do is cast to our BP platform and make sure it's the door because I made that error before. <laughs> so with that done, what I want to do is I want to affect the variable right now. I just I just want to uh, these these are cool little things that you guys are gonna have to get used to if you're gonna be de delving in uh, blueprints. So I'm just gonna name it was hit. Press enter. And I'm gonna hit the compile button because once you hit that compile button you'll actually get to see the value that it's at. Right now, I have it at false, but we could, if we want, put it at true. And with other variables, which we'll get into, you can set them right at the beginning in the defaults, but they won't show up until you actually compile. So with that done, we're gonna grab this was hit, and we're going to set it, all right? So that basically is, once this hits, we're gonna set it to true, quite simply. And then I want it to go through this guy. All right. And then with that, I want to check. So it's called a branch. So an if statement, if any of you have done code, it's called a branch. And I want to check if was hit. So I'm going to grab was hit. And I put in the condition. Cool little thing here. And with that done, what we're going to want to do is affect this platform door from before, we're going to want to set, all right, the moving state of our platform door. And then we want to actually get it to open once it's done all of this nice little code that we've just made. So with that done, compile, save, and let's go and press our play. Boom! Haha, -ha, she opened. Yay! You got now a working platform, a little puzzle that you can have fun with. So, in the next episode, we'll go about doing the one where uh, we pick the book out and then the door opens. So, a little, a few extra little steps, but more or less the same kind of flow. So, I'll leave you guys at that, and uh, you guys have fun making some puzzles. Actually, before I leave, if you guys actually come up with any good puzzles, um, you know, if, if you got like ideas for cool little big puzzles that take a couple more steps, go go ahead and like put them in the comments and we'll uh, we'll try and figure them out if anything and uh, maybe make a, a, another tutorial for it. But um, yeah, so right now I'm going to let you guys go and I'll see you guys in the next one where we do the, uh, the picker instead. All right, take it easy.